Hello students, Professor Mugent here. With this video, we begin our discussion about non-stationarity. So far, we have assumed that the data that we have been using are stationary. That is, the distribution of y s plus 1 through y s plus t does not depend on s. So, the variance of y does not change over time. The mean expected value of y does not change over time. In general, the probability distribution of y does not change over time. Um, the estimated coefficients that we would get from y does not change over time, the first auto correlation does not change over time. And this is important because if we want to be able to forecast, then we need to be able to say that the distribution of y over the current over, over the current series or in the present is going to be the same in the future. If these things do not hold, if stationarity does not hold, then the series are said to be non-stationary. And there are two important types of non-stationarity that we are going to discuss. The first that we are going to discuss in this video is trends. And then Later, we will discuss structural breaks. So we'll first focus on what is a trend. Then we will have a separate video that looks at deterministic and stochastic random trends. We will look at what problems are caused by trends. We will ask, how do you detect stochastic trends? So what statistical tests are there? And then, how to address or mitigate problems addressed by trends? Let's first focus on what is a trend. A trend is a persistent, long-term movement or tendency in the data. When we're talking about trends, we are not necessarily talking about a straight line. Okay? The way that the economy moves is hardly ever a straight line, or things in economics generally hardly ever move in a straight line. But we still often find trends. Here we see the logarithm of the Japan Index of Industrial Production. Observe that first there is a, a trend of upward, an upward trend of fast increasing, uh, a fast increasing upward trend in the industrial production. And then there's still an upward trend, but that trend is decreasing, or the, the, the rate of increase is decreasing, right? So, and maybe it's now flat. So, the, there are trends, but there are, ele there are outside elements that, that affect the trend. Let's look at another series. The United States unemployment rate from 1960 to 2017 on the y-axis we have percent. What we see is a general, there's, there's a somewhat increase in the unemployment rate over this part of the series. You see there's a, a decrease over here and there's somewhat of a decrease but with every recession there is a spike 
and the unemployment rate, right? So it's hard to say whether or not there's a trend. We would have to carry out a statistical test, but you can sort of see that there's a bit of an upward trend here. There's a bit of a downward trend here, but we would really need to carry out a statistical test to prove it to ourselves. And then in this slide, we have the percentage change in daily value of the Wiltshire 5000 total market index. So this is how does the market change the, the, the total market basket of stocks change, the value of these stocks change from day to day. And really, there's no trend here. Right? There's, there's absolutely no trend. Um, and that is what the efficient markets hypothesis predicts. Efficient markets hypothesis. That one of the things is that you could use the value, the, the value of the uh, change in stock prices yesterday to predict what the change in stock prices will be today. That all of the available information is already contained in the current stock price. So let's just summarize what we have discussed about these three series and what is a trend. The Log Japan Industrial Production series clearly has a long run trend. It's not straight but uh, there's a slowly decreasing trend. Um, what we mean by decreasing is that the trend is upward, but the rate of increase is decreasing. Okay? There is fast growth during the 1960s and 1970s, slower growth during the 1980s, and then stagnating during the 1990s and 2000s. That is when you see the industrial production index sort of level off. The unemployment rate, the United States unemployment rate, has long-term swings. There, we, we saw that general increase from 1970 to 1990, and then a decrease from 1990 to 2007. But these long-term fluctuations are interrupted by large increases due to recessions and decreases in expansions. So there may be some small trend, it is hard to tell. And again, we would need to carry out some statistical tests to reject that there, there is a, a trend um, to, to prove to ourselves whether or not we see a trend. And finally, the daily stock price returns there's no apparent trend with this series. There are periods of persistent high volatility, but this is not a trend. Okay, there's 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 no um, obvious upward or downward trend. Just persistently high volatility uh, within a certain uh, range of time. So this is a, uh, the conclusion of the video of what is a trend. Please tune in to the next video where we will discuss the difference between a deterministic trend and a stochastic trend.